Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Champions of Meandir Gameplay. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm here with Kim, Nick, and George. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks that we'll be playing today, starting with Kim. Hello, I'm going to be playing a control brew of Tren. Uh, where I'm going to have a lot of cant effects in my deck. I'm going to have a lot of hand checks, and uh, I'm going to be trying to slow everybody down while I rack up some value. That's perfect. I can't wait to see what you've brewed here. <laughs> All right, George, you're up next. <clears throat> Welcome, everyone, to the George Features Yumi Herrero feature. Ooh. So we're mixing purple and we're mixing white. And we're going to see if we can get this lady to stardom with her artistry. Let's see what we can do. Very nice. Actually, strangely enough, Irero, not a very common combination with Yumi so far. So interested to see how you brewed this one. All right, next up, we have Nick. Today, like myself who's on vacation, we're bringing Lorene, the safety inspector, back on vacation. It was successful in a, in a 1v1. And I wanted to see if that extends to multiplayer. It's always harder to see down three opponents, but we'll see if the adaptation strategy gets got what it takes. Wow, very cool. So you're on vacation and your champion's on vacation. I mean, I feel like that's an inherent buff right there. Yeah. <laughs> and today, I'm playing Kazin, Freedom Fighter. This deck is trying to strike a balance between quantity and quality. So part of the deck is dedicated to pumping out a bunch of denizen tokens, hence the quantity aspect. And then the other part of the deck is dedicated to sticking high impact denizens onto the board, hence the quality aspect. So let's see how a more well-rounded version of this deck performs. That's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. Okay, I'm going to start with a classic turn one wall to path Ooh. to look at the top card and place it either on top or on bottom. I'll put it on the bottom. And... I'm going to draw my free card for turn. With my one gold, I'm going to play a Toll Collector. Ah, beautiful. There he is. Beautiful. <laughs> and I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Not bad, Kim. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to start off things with getting my gold. Let us start with playing the Luxurious Cottage. Ooh, How nice. luxurious. And then let's play turn one, Merchant. Another good turn one. Yes, another good turn one. Let's draw a free card. We'll end our turn here and pass it on to Nick. Yeah. Uh, so again, my goal for the turn, we're going to drop this Statue of the Fierce Hunter since I don't have to worry about paying for it. You do have one goal all. that you can use to pay. I could buff one of these uh, denizens over here. Uh, we'll take a free draw. Should I just help George out? Maybe, okay, here's here's my Ooh. Here's my thought. I'm going to give George's Greedy Merchant plus zero plus one in the hopes that that is strong enough for him to maybe try to take down the Gold Collector. That is super cool. You know what? Let's buddy up, Nick. Let's buddy up. <laughs> we'll, we'll have a tentative alliance here. All right, that's all for my Ten turn pass. All right, cool. So I took a very aggressive mulligan and I am now regretting it. So uh, probably I'm going to have to reset my hand, but here's what I'll do. I'll actually use my free draw while my hand is full. I'll have to put that card back on top, but why I'm doing it is because I want to see what's on top because that might dictate whether or not I actually do pull the trigger and do a hand reset. So let's go ahead and use my free draw. Yeah. All right. So unfortunately, I will have to spend my first turn resetting the hand. And how that looks is I put all cards in my hand on the bottom of my deck, draw seven cards, and then shuffle. And then uh, I cannot make any more turn actions, so I just lose my gold and pass it over to Kim. Great. I'm going to start by gaining my gold and taking my free draw. And another classic turn two that everybody was definitely not expecting is a blacklist. Oh. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's take a look at everyone's hand. Okay. All right. Not bad. I think I've already got a uh, choice for what I'm going to take out, but we'll look at Alvin's. All right. I'm going to choose Ask for Donations. 
uh, <laughs> as the uh, imprinted card. Nice. So that yep, no one except me can play Ask for Donations. Correct. If I'm running it in my deck, I don't remember. Uh, and that'll be my turn. Pretty good. First couple of plays there, Kim. All right, two gold, turn two, free draw. Let's draw it now. Okay, let's go with playing remove distractions. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is uh, violence about to happen? No, I will pass my turn. The toll collector right. and the greedy merchant, you know, they, they work together hand in hand. Oh, they're colluding. <laughs> I don't trust these denizens to give you extra gold and don't give it to me. But uh, I will gain my two gold for the turn. And we'll start by making some space in the hand with a gray wolf. We'll take a free draw. That's a big one. And it's a big gun, but it's a simple, you know, it's just a vanilla denizen. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about it. All right, we will we'll pass the turn. All right, oh. cool. Get my gold for turn. All right, so I'll throw out a couple of locations. They're both slave Whoa. cells. Uh, mm. I'll go ahead and take oh. my free draw now. Not loving that. <laughs> uh all right so yeah Ooh. still struggling a little bit with my alignment but thankfully i do have a marked map this time so i'll go ahead and play that and then i'll activate it right away uh i will search let's see what do i want here i think i'm going to start out with a red aligned location that seems right to me i'll fetch a dangerous path and then i'll go ahead and lose that now i'll go ahead and play my dangerous path uh, all right and i would love to be able to see the top card of my deck but unfortunately that will cost me one gold and I don't have that one gold. I think I'm gonna have to, as bad as this feels, I just really need to draw into some alignment here. So I'm gonna abandon one of my slave cells to draw a card. And uh, yeah, that means no value from that, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I'll pass. All right. Those poor uh, slaves in there have no hope anymore. <laughs> We've forgotten about that cell. It's been yeah. abandoned. I'm going to be gaining my gold for turn and drawing my card for turn, as you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As and, one well, uh, I'll, play, I'll be playing a Masked Vigilante. Oh, mm. so cool. Mm. I, love, uh, <laughs> I love this Vengeful. ability, the, the routine ability. Uh, yes. It's really useful. And uh, I'm just going to be passing the turn. Okay. Yes. We are on turn three, so I get three gold. We are on phase one of remove distractions. I have six cards in my hand. I'm going to play obstructive roadblock. I don't have any clear target, so I won't choose one. Um, well, I have two spaces, so I will resolve remove distractions for phase one right now by drawing two cards. Cool. Oh, wait. This is remove distractions. Yeah, you got to discard. I mean, got to discard. A card. A, a card. Yeah, a card. Any card in your hand. So I will choose Harmless Kitten. Uh, it's the inactive zone. You know what? I'm going to have to sell the Obstructive Roadblock. Thankfully, the Greedy Merchant uh, means that I get two gold back when I do so. Very nice. Which is sick. Four gold. That's great. Let's get the Statue of the Beloved Queen out here. Ooh. Let's give the zero plus one to the greedy merchant. Pay the one extra gold due to the toll collector's special ability, making me spend more money. Yep. I will play next the obnoxious name caller. Cool. Inspiration is unlocked now. Yeah. Which will you be I will that? use <laughs> on toll collector. Uh awesome i draw my free draw hmm. and i will bust out termination notice won't use it but it's out there in the streets and i pass Morning. My turn all right i don't think i'll be playing a campaign this turn well right. you sure won't be playing ask for donations <laughs> no <laughs> if if i had that card uh but yeah i'm you know what, the Toll Collector, out of the works, we can drop a statue. Yes. Uh, I'll take a free draw. Yeah, it's a good one. So I will play a Treasure Hunter for Whoa. three. Whoa, okay. Next to this statue, the Expedition is unlocked, I will gain two. Very nice. And then uh, we will use the arrival of the Statue of the Fierce Hunter on the Grey Wolf. Scary. And then we will abandon Statue of the Fierce Hunter. Take an abandoned draw. 
All right, and then we will use two gold to rapid adaptation. I will have my treasure hunter that. Wow. He's, nice. a four so five he's on his vacation, and yeah, sees it sees Grey Wolf. It's very very inspired by that. It's a four five denizen. That is a swole uh, treasure hunter. Yeah. Whew, now, powerful. Yeah. Powerful treasure hunter. We'll pass. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll get my goal for turn. I will use my free draw. Oh. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay, so I can afford to play this. No alignment tax, thankfully, with this. Yeah, and I'm just not in a good position here. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and spend one goal to play Restraining Order. So, cards are on the table, uh, literally and metaphorically. So, you know I have it and or you can just attack into it. But if it does make it back to my turn, then at least maybe I have extra resources. So, yeah, I'm going to abandon this. Feels really bad, but get an extra draw. All I right. I was so impressed when you dumped both of them. I was like, oh, he, he drew a god to your redraw. Yeah. Uh, not so much. Yeah. No luck this time. Pass over to you, Kim. Awesome. I'm going to start by gaining my gold and taking my free draw. I am going to spend four gold. Four since gold. I have to pay alignment tax to reconsider with words of wisdom. Uh, uh, there's a few of us suffering from alignment problems. Yeah, right there. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I don't feel so. so that Kinell, somebody play a Kalnay already. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can do this up to three times. So I'll start yeah. on bottom, draw. Okay. On bottom, then draw. On the bottom, and draw. Awesome. Uh, I'll play a walled path, Ooh. looking at the top. Another one. Putting it on the bottom. I'll also crack my blacklist for two gold. Ooh, okay. And play intelligence report <laughs> for one gold. And then more I'm information. Ability. Yeah, more information. I'm going to view everybody's card hand. Draw. Yeah, not much has changed. I'm going to uh, lose this, and then I'll draw a card. I'm going to be cracking my second walled path. Abandoning? Okay. <laughs> Abandoning, uh, drawing a card. I'm going to be swinging Vengeful into that guy. Ooh, okay. No! And that'll be my turn. Ah, uh, you're so mean, Kim. You're so mean. I'm being polite. You don't see Vengeful too often. You remind me. Uh, so yeah, if it deals yeah. damage to a hostile denizen, that damage is doubled and can't be prevented. So it gets around tenacious, perceptive, okay. crafty, everything. Question. It Yes. Does that also uh, count towards, like, when something is attacking Vengeful? Like, That's right. Vengeful so if creature? I attack into you, my guy becomes hostile in the process. So by, by the time the damage is resolved, uh, I will take double unpreventable damage. Yeah. All right. It's a pretty useful yeah, Unpreventable ability. is really big. I forgot about that. I remember the double part. That's right. Jay Wilson it and also can't be friended. So I have four gold now on my turn. Uh, we're on phase two of remove distractions. Let's resolve this first. Remove distractions. I'm activating. I'm drawing two cards. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of Alluring Seductress. All right. And we are going to play Statue of the Good King. Ooh. There's your white alignment. Uh, abandon this uh, right. Statue of the Beloved Queen for another draw. I take my free draw. All right. Cool. And now I'm going to play Ask for Donations. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Now we're going yeah. to play Refuse Defeat. Okay, Refuse Defeat. That's a and we're going one. to play Toll Collector. No, <laughs> ah, I just can't get away. Statue of the Good King. I would like you to activate and uh, give my obnoxious name color uh, plus one on defense. Well, sir, I think that's a pass. All right, cool. back to the vacation. So we'll gain our gold. Start with a free draw. I always like when I get to do this first. That's funny. We will drop an exploration vessel. <laughs> abandon the statue. Come on, man. All right. She only costs four uh, with alignment tax. I know. Um, but we will activate Treasure Hunter's Expedition because I had an expedition occur. Ooh, that's right. Lorene, player. She costs a little more. She's treating herself while she's on vacation. Treat yourself. Yeah. Yeah, Lorraine, please. And then uh, we'll just lose that two gold because I like activating things, but we have nothing it's to do. Fair. So, <laughs> uh, once our turn ends, we will have Lorraine in me six points for these very healthy vacationers. Yes. She may be on vacation, but she still mm -hmm. appreciates mm -hmm. safety. Yes. She can kick back and relax knowing everything is off shape. Pass the turn. All right. You're off to the races. Get my goal for turn. Draw Uno Cardo. Ah, 
Ah, yes. Delicious. Delicious alignment. I'm going to play Familiar Road, and I'm going to pick for its imprint green. That's the oh. second one. Yeah, that's the second alignment right there. Um, okay, so let's see. This is going to change what I do a little bit. So uh, first of all, Dark. Forceful Deck Collector is going to attack into your termination notice because we're done with that, George. Ow! Removes your play. I all right, and then this it. is now hostile, but totally worth it because I'm going to activate his aggression to gain one gold. Oh, man, the world's my oyster. What do I want to do here? You've unlocked your alignment. I know. All right, so I'm going to play Use Force for one gold. And so oh, now geez. everything is discounted for one because I have made an attack this turn. So I'm going to play Kazin for only three gold. Well, well, well. So I'm, for one gold, I'm going to play Forceful Whoa. Deck Collector. And wow. then now I'm going to sell my Restraining Order to get one more gold. And then I'm going to play Reap the Harvest for one gold. Even though I have a discount of one, uh, any card that has a gold value cannot be reduced to less than one cost. So I'm going to have to still pay that one. But this will gain me three gold because I control three or more denizens. One, two, awesome. three. Bye. All right. So yeah, I'll attack Kazin into this exploration vessel. And then for three gold, I'll play Barbarian Chieftain. Mm -hmm. And this individual awesome. is going to attack into this to finish it off. I see. All right, and then now I'm going to activate aggression because I've made three attacks. I will score three points and produce myself a it's runaway slave. Points. There he be. And then Freeing I... slaves? <laughs> Freeing slaves indeed. All right, pass it over to you, Kim. Awesome. Uh, I'll start with getting my gold and taking my free draw. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you, Nick, for keeping a hand of seven because I'm going to be playing Kalnea. Oh, wow. Well. Just in time for the fact that I now I'm a line and I don't actually need it. But I'll take a yeah, free draw. No, everyone no draws a card. Thank you. That's going to help me out a lot here. I'm going to pay one to play Preventive Measures. All right, take a look-see. Let's see, let's see what everyone's got going on. Always some good targets in here. Always some good targets. I'm going to go for George's Supportive Friends. Very good choice. Uh, you can go ahead and shuffle it. Yeah, okay. Nick, I'm going to take your Eldrian out of your deck. Whew. Go ahead and shuffle. Uh, and Alvin, I'm going to take your Eldrian, and then you can shuffle your deck. Ah, oh, there goes Eldrian. Before this called resolves, I get to draw a card. So much value. A lot of value. I love this. I love that card, which is always <laughs> yep. fun. Uh, and, you know, of course I'm going to play Tren. You can't go without it. Uh, and I'm going to use Masked Vigilante's routine ability, target Tren, and make sure that no, th like nobody can attack Tren yep. until my next turn. Nice and protected. And then as I end my turn, I'm going to score two points of Tren because Masked Vigilante has one or more abilities. Nice. You're on the board. Cool. That'll be it. That'll be my turn. Okay. We are at five. We are at phase three of remove distractions and phase one of ask for donations and refuse defeat. I activate ask for donations. So I have one more gold. Remove distractions. I will draw two cards. And I will be throwing the harmless kitten <laughs> into the inactive zone. Another one. After Another one. one. Yeah. Do you just li not like cats? Is that what's going on? <laughs> I'm allergic. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm learning and about my deck as well as seeing things. Oh, I, I still still have a free draw, which I will take now. Okay, so I play another refuse defeat, and I play another ask for donations. Wow. Down to three gold, and I play my champion, Yumi, okay. the avid painter. Uh, I would like to also resolve this refuse defeat. I will choose my toll collector, Reedy. So that's resolved. Out of gold. <laughs> Reedy, that's that's nice. I like that. So you got D2L and Reedy. <laughs> so I'm going. I activate Yumi's inspiration to score myself two points, and I end my turn. I will gain some gold for the turn. And I'm going to start by making space in my hand with a simple little one costler. Uh, it's going to cost I'm also three, going to be asking though. for donations. It will not, sir. And oh, I'm yeah! Kalnea! Wow! Oh, yeah. The best card! As always, Nick is seeing the can. Matrix. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, use, we'll take my free draw. There it is. 
Ah. If it were not for Kalneo, that would have been very, very welcoming. Cozy but Cottage. We'll just play it. Yeah. It would be incredibly greedy to have been in this location as <laughs> Kalneo is <laughs> Yes, but... I mean, I could always... I gotta always just keep it there. You know. Yeah. I don't have to get rid of it, but I mean, I, I probably will. <laughs> yeah, I figure. Okay. We are going to prepare for future turns by dropping another Ask for Donations. Wow. Yeah, and then we'll play a safety regulations for two gold. Now that's a good one to have right now. Yeah. All right. Uh, we have no use for the final gold. And Loreen will just be chilling with her two friends from last turn and gain six more points. Wow. I really Continue. like that you're not attacking because you know that hostile punishers are a thing. But at the same time, I really wish you would. <laughs> it's vacation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all vacation. right. Get my gold for turn. I want to be... Free draw. All right. Now I'm getting all the locations. I'll go ahead and abandon this to draw another card. Awesome. And then I'll play Hidden Crag. Oh, man, I've got a turn and a half right here. Let me tell you. All right. So first things first, um, the Runaway Slave is going to attack into Yumi because she needs to experience pain. All artists do. Wow. Wow. So I'm going to do you a favor, George, and make you experience that pain. All right. <laughs> um, the Barbarian Chieftain is going to attack into the Wolf. He's tenacious, so he's not going to take any damage back. Because uh, it's exact. Yes. And then this, I, I mean, I really wish I could attack into this, but alas, I cannot. Unfortunately. Uh, okay, so there's George over here. Okay, Hi. So this, is not, this is not refusing defeat. So I'm going to attack into your obnoxious name caller with this debt collector. All right, and then this debt collector, he's going to attack into the cottage here. And then Kazen will also attack into that cottage, dealing another two damage. So let's see, I've made one, two, three, four, five attacks so far. Uh, both of these aggressions are unlocked, so I'm going to activate both of them to go up to seven. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play Bold Rabble Rouser for three gold. And then I'm going to play Mufari Beast Hunter for three gold. Oh, um, Mufari. Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, all right, Mufari. and then I'm going to use my last goal to activate Mufari. And I'm going to ask you, Kim, to produce a Mufari's Quarry token, please, and thank you. By all means. <laughs> all right. And then now I'm going to activate both of Bold Rabble Rouser's arrival abilities, both of them targeting Mufari. So I'm going to increase his attack limit by one and also allow him to attack right away because he will also be swift. So I'm going to make two attacks into your Mufari's Quarry token. Uh, the first uh -huh. one will result in him taking two damage. The second one will result in him taking zero damage because it'll be enough to finish off the, the quarry. So that's six damage in total. And then when the Mufari's quarry leaves, I will score myself five points going up to eight. All right, so I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attacks. So Mufari uh, constituting for two of those. So I'll go ahead and activate Kazin to score myself seven points and then producing another runaway slave token. This is getting pretty scary. Yep. All right. And I'll pass it over to you, Kim. Wonderful. I'm going to start by getting my gold. I will play Tranquil Cottage nice. and pick my free draw. Then I'm going to... If you incite paranoia, pay... that'll just destroy me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pay one to preventive measures. Oh. Then I'm going to view everyone's deck again. Uh, remove distractions is what I'm going to take from George. Would you mind shuffling your deck for me? Uh, Nick, I will... I'll take Mia, seeing as that's your other unique Nizen. Oh, brutal. And would you mind shuffling your deck, too? Alvin, I'm going to take... Bandit Raiders. Yeah, good one. Because that's probably one of your better hits. Yep. And before it resolves, I'll draw my card, as usual. All right, I'll go ahead. Put it into inactive. Then I'm going to play Keen Infiltrators. Oh! Oh. For four. I'm so glad I played Looking my Mufari last turn. Hand. I was debating, like, maybe yep. I should. <laughs> Looking at George's hand, I will take... I'm going to take a Luring Seductress. Nick, oh, interesting. I'm going to take... Yeah. The Comfort might be a good thing for us, so I'm going to not take it. I'll take... Right. Yeah. Population growth. And then I'll take Live on the Edge yeah. uh, from Alvin. Now I won't be able to Is refill it, my hand. Yeah, uh, I'll abandon Kalanea to draw a card. Then I'm just going to pay one to ask for donations. <laughs> Man, you're all asking for a donations. Little bit late. Look at that. A little bit late, but you know. 
and I'm going to use Matt Vigilante's routine ability yeah. on, on Tren. On Bufari, right? Oh. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. And then I'm going to end my turn, gaining two points for having Matt Vigilante out. Very nice. And pass. Okay. Six gold. We have five ask for donations on the board for right now. <laughs> wow. I activate my ask for donations, giving me two gold extra. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, I'm bringing back Yumi. Yeah, obvious. Obviously. Obvious choice. I play supportive friends. I have refused defeat for supportive friends. That's resolved. All right. If you have a guilty conscience, that just like wipes me out of the game completely. Yeah. Hold on. Drawing card. Yeah, a hostile sweeper. I mean, there's actually a lot of outs you guys have. I'm just not. I'll I'll leave it to you to figure hostile it out. Hostile sweeper, erase memories. Actually, erase memories doesn't do it. Yeah, I guess I'll give Yumi. Refuse defeat, and then I play crackdown on crime. Pretty good. So that's one, two, three. Inspiration is unlocked. Yumi, I activate your inspiration to score two points equal to the number of card types among the cards I've played this turn. So I'm at four points so far, and I pass my turn. All right. Let's gain the gold and my base counters. Take a draw. All right. Yeah, if I'd known there'd been a 12 point swing coming from Alvin last <laughs> turn, I could have prepared for this. Yeah. But, uh, this is no. now too late. Oh. Too little too late. Oh, I'll play man. it though. And end the turn. Do you have a way to progress it? In three oh. points, chilling on vacation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go back to chilling. All right. Yeah, man. I don't know how I survived three turns without something to stop me. Like, even this, if you had a way to progress it, you could activate it right away. That's a tricky one, but sometimes sometimes you get lucky. And uh, you know what? Uh, I'll take it when I can get it. So. Uh, all I have to do is just make a whole bunch of attacks. I'll just go ahead and one, two, three, four, five. These guys uh, attack into Georgia's locations. And Rough. then I'll go ahead and activate Kazen, scoring myself five points. One, two, three, four, five. And taking the game. Nice. You had to cripple me a little bit on the way I out? I was running four ah. hostile punishers in my deck, and I didn't draw a single one of them. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, yeah. I'm lucky. Like I said, sometimes you just get lucky, and uh, yeah, I, we take those. We take those. The Cajun you did. sweep. You did take them. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So, so I guess I'll point out you did have the me not winning the game line. You had the black Mora powder, and then George had the refuse defeat. So that in combination yeah. could have removed that, and then uh, Nick could have easily gotten rid of the Mufari with with an attack. So yeah, that mm. that game did not have to go to me at least not in that turn. Uh, and I had no way to really dig myself out of stuff. I had no more card drawer things. Um, oh man, my my my, my black moral yeah. powder was so deep in my deck. It is my nineteenth draw. Um, all right, so Kim, your your deck was all about saying we can't do stuff. Is there any is there any control card we did not see out of you today? I guess we didn't see Drive Insane, right? No, we all, you also didn't see Crackdown on Crime, which is really a uh, a good way to get rid of denizens. Yes. Um, yes. I also was running the new Hit List in my deck. <laughs> Man, you have so uh, many ways to take out my Mufari. I'm so like another yeah, thing. Termination notice yeah. would have been pretty solid in this game. There's been a lot of campaigns. Then you know, uh, of course, Black Mora Powder would have won me the game, but I never, you know, figured the line out. Uh, Drive Insane I, too is it. another one that would have would have put me ahead. Oh, so frustrating. Yeah. All right, George, you're you're looking kind of frustrated over there. What's going on? How how'd your deck oh, perform no, no. today? Oh, no, no. Uh, that frustrating, it would have been to have received that card from Kim. Uh, from my deck, uh, it was Yumi the Artist. She is the Prodigy. So I have Exotic Tigers. I have Guard Dogs. So her items are protected. Her artwork is protected. She is exquisite. And uh, her the, the idea is that it's supposed to be a very positive Yumi deck. I'm uh, trying to find like her synergy for me and like ways for me to learn how to like ramp her. So this was my uh, test run for her. Yeah, I like the theme of your deck. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's very cool. All right, and Nick, you uh, you struggle with alignment at the very beginning of the game. I, you even played Loreen for the alignment tax. But even despite all that, yeah. I mean, that's like pretty good showing for Loreen's tropical vacation. Yeah. 
I think this deck is strong. I just, like I said, it was the, it was a 12 point swing turn where I was like, oh, there's no turning around versus Kazen. Once he cracks like 14, 13, 14, it's like, man, there's, there's sort of no stopping him. So all yeah. that out of nowhere. I was not expecting the, the, the huge swing turn. I was definitely prepared for it. This campaign was going to shut you like off. So yeah, it was, it was now or never. That would have been curtains for me for that game. I lost my Eldrian, so I had no way to score points. Uh, and then, yeah, if you if you attacked into Mufari, I would have been locked out at 15 points. So, yeah. Um, all right, that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. Before we sign off for today, we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. And if you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out and let us know in the comments. You can also leave comments to help us improve or just to tell us what you'd like to see next. Please join us again next week for more Champions of Meandir gameplay. Bye-bye for now. Bye.